Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Fortnite Creative Beginner tutorial that will show you how can you use a device that can modify the player movements and the ability to traverse the world that you're creating on your island. The same device can be found right here and it's called player movement device. A device allows creators to manage the player character movement configuration on different move modes. So if you're making something like a game that includes parkour elements or the game, a game that includes a lot of traversal, whatever type of traversal it might be, or a platformer, this device will be useful. So let's place it and now let's modify it. As you can see, it's right here. And under basic options, you have your ability to preview in live edit the elements that you're changing, priority, uh, whether or not to add to player start, we'll get that. Enable during phase and movement setting presets. However, under all options, you have loads more. And right now, all of them are on don't override. But let's modify our ability or the player ability to jump just to show you what it can do. So we're not going to change acceleration, braking, reloading, shooting, friction, but we're going to do for jump maximum time. Maximum time, the player is allowed to jump button so the character can jump in the ra. We're going to expand this to 1.2, 2.1 seconds. Jump velocity, initial velocity. When jumping, we're going to increase it to 800. Air control, lateral movement that the player has when jumping, we're going to increase that. And we're going to basically keep everything as is because you can see swimming, skydiving, gliding, energy and the energy recharge. All of those are available for you to use in whatever circumstance you like. The same goes for functions. You have the enable, disable, add to player, add to all players for multiplayer options where you can kind of experiment and modify the things that you want to happen with different player groups, teams or individual players. And it has no events, so it cannot send signals to anything else it can just get signals. Now let's see how my jump looks like once I enter the match. And here I am. I'm going to run. As you can see, the running seems normal. But once I go for jump, a lot more jumping, a lot more ability to kind of expand that jump. And as you can see, I'm losing energy while I do it. So I'm likely going to get killed. Ah, and there I am. The second jump took 50 health points and thus killed me. But as you can see, the jumping is clearly a lot bigger and a lot more options are there for other types of movements, traversals and everything else. So there you go. It's the player movement device. Very elegant for a range of options that you would like to include in your platformer or even multiplayer combat game where players can have different abilities when it comes to movement and basically traversal. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you found it interesting. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please consider checking out my Patreon page, checking out my channel memberships, checking out my books on Amazon. All of that is in the description below. But of course, the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support me. Simply subscribe to my channel and be here for my new clips. That's all for me. Thanks a lot for being here. My name is Ivica. Have a great day. Have loads of fun in your Fortnite creative adventures. And I'll see you on my next clip. Until then, goodbye.